Hello and welcome to a new video about IT systems. This time we are going to talk about the MyFair system, which we have in our Arduino box. Okay. So the MyFair system, there is a card reader, uh, this RFID RC522, that's the device. Uh, and we do have MyFair cards. MyFair cards are widely spread. MyFair claims they have now sold over, I think, uh, I have to look, but I think 100 billions. Yeah, 10 billions. Oh, sorry. 10 billion. 10 billions of those decks they have sold. And they also claim they have sold 150 million of these reading devices. So they are widely spread. Yeah. My fair is working at 13.561 megahertz. Yeah? And uh, these cards, the MyFair Classic cards, they have around one kilobyte uh, memory. What is happening? Uh, what is happening uh, when this is powered up yeah, and the card is getting into the reading field of the reader? Okay? The first thing which is happening, the card is announcing itself. Okay? The card is announcing itself to the reader with the so-called first card power up announce itself with the so-called UID unique identifier. So there is a unique identifier stored on the card which will then be transferred to the to the reading element. Okay, so that's the first thing. Getting close, get into the range, powering up, book, announce itself to the to the reading element with the UID. Mm -hmm. Since there might be more cards in the reading field, the reading element now selects a card. Okay. Second. Card select. Yeah. So the card is selected. It says, yeah, please card with this and that UID. I'm selecting you. Okay. The card itself is sending back SAC. Yeah. Selection acknowledge. SAC. <laughs> yeah. Selection acknowledge is sent back by the card. Then the then the uh, connection is established. If a card is not getting selected, then it remains silent. Okay? Until it's removed from the reading field and put into the reading field again, then it will announce itself again. This is how it's working. So how is the memory now looking inside those cards? Well, after the connection is established, yeah, there are several operations possible. Yeah? So there we can do a write to a memory. Yeah? We can do a read. Yeah? We can do an increment and we could do a decrement. Okay? If those things are allowed to me or not, yeah, is depending on the location in the card and the so-called access bits. Yeah, and also keys. I will try to show you. Yeah. So the card memory. This is the whole card memory. This is one kilobyte. Yeah. And it's separated into so-called blocks or sectors. Well, it's, first it's separated in, in, into sectors. So we have here sectors. And each sector consists of each sector consists of four blocks. Okay.
all blocks are equally big. Yeah? So here we have here we have sector zero, here we have sector one, and the last sector is 15. So this is 14. Yeah? 15 sectors, and these are the blocks within the sector. So this is block 0, 1, 2, 3, 0, 1, 2, 3, 0, 1, 2, 3, 0, 1, 2, 3. Or you can even number it 1, 2, 3, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and so on. So that's it. Each each and every uh, block consists of 16 bytes. Okay, so let's see if I can manage this. It's the middle, yeah. again the middle, again the middle, again the middle. And start, I have 4, Okay, we have to divide it once more. 16. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 15 bytes. Okay? This is how this is organized. Yeah? Why I haven't I shown this here also? Well, the first few down here, yeah? here is the UAD. It's, a, it's between 4, 1, one 2, 3, 4, yeah? and 7 bytes. 4, 6, 7, 4, 5, 6, 7. Yeah. This, is the, this is the URD stored here. 4 to 7 bytes. Sector 0, block 0, first bytes, URD. And then here are some manufacturing data. Yeah. Some data. Yeah. And this, the rest, is already usable to us. Huh? So, these are user bytes. We can use them as we want. If the UID is changeable or not, depends a little bit on the card. Okay? This, I will not draw it up here. Yeah? The third block of a sector is the so-called trailer. So every sector has a has a sector trailer. And here in the first uh, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. Correct? Yes. Here in this area, the so called key A. is stored. And here we have the key B. So there are different keys. And each and every key is only valid for the respective sector. Okay? Not if I know the key B of sector 0, I can do something with sector 0, but not in sector 1 and not in sector 14 and whatever. Yeah? I need the corresponding key to the sector. And in here, between the two keys, we have the so-called access bits. Okay. The access bits are three. There are three access bits. Yeah. Why are there an one, two, three, four bytes? Yeah. Because they are stored in a special form. Yeah. They are stored how they are. They are stored inverted. They are stored. Yeah. So there is a redundancy in there for the access bits. Yeah. The pattern of the access bits. So with three bits, we have two raised by the power of three. So two, four, 
eight, eight different combinations uh, of access control yeah? and each and every combination defines what I am allowed to do and what I need for this. Yeah? So there are combinations that I can write data. Yeah? And there, for instance, one combination means you can write data, but only if you know key number A. Yeah? Or you can read data if you, only if you know key number B. Yeah? And these access bits define which key I need to have to do a certain operation. Okay? If you want to increment, I don't know, in this block, this byte, I have to use key A, yeah? because the access bit tell that's the rule. Okay? So, how key A and key B are used inside this block? Depending on the access bits. Yeah? And also, which, which, and also to, to, to change the access bits and change the keys, it is also possible to change keys and access bits. I have just to write to the trailer, to the trailer of the corresponding sector. Uh, well, uh, it is also possible, depending on the access bits, I'm allowed to change key A if I use key B, for instance. Uh, attention. You can set the access bits in a way that this thing is bricked. Yeah? You're, not to, you're not allowed to read, you're not to write, allowed to write, you're not allowed to change keys, you're not, you're not allowed to do anything. Yeah? Then pff, this memory is pretty useless. Yeah? Someone like a kill code, for instance. Yeah? This is... I will also... I will upload you will find it linked in the in the video a description of the access bits yeah, how they are stored and what their meaning are and and also this scheme i will upload also you can download it with a link under the video under the video okay so this is how this thing is working yeah? this is how the memory is organized yeah? depending on the access bits I have to use keys to change, to do operation. That's it. That's it. By the way, if you have a new card, the keys are by default all ones. F, 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 hexadecimal. All ones. And uh, Now I don't remember what I wanted to tell you. Ah, yeah, right. If you if you try to read keys, huh? if you write try to read keys with a read, it will not work. You will get zero because you have to know read the key number A. Huh? Key number B can be read. Key number A cannot be read. It, there is always zero, so you cannot simply read the key out and then use it. This is not working. Security matter. This I wanted also to mention. So this is how this is working. Next time we're going to connect those things. We're going to connect this reader with our Arduino. We are using a library for this. We see it's pretty, pretty big library, and and but we will get to know how we are using it. So this then will be next video, an application example. We will try to read out all the memory of this card. That's the goal for next video. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.